Hi guys, let's do a recap of the GI tract. So here are the parts, right? In the mouth, what do you break down? We said finger licking good, so that was fat and, and or lipase. And then melts in your mouth, not in your hands, that was m and so that's your carbohydrates. What are the two enzymes that break them down? We said Amy was laced with sugar, so amylase breaks down carbs, lipase breaks down fats or lipids, and those are initiated in the mouth. Where's the next step? Is the esophagus do anything? No, the only job of the esophagus is to send food from basically the mouth, the throat to the stomach. What is the job or what are enzymes that are initiated inside the stomach? We said proteases, right? And what are the proteases? Pep, sin, which was the active form. Pepsinogen is the active form, right? Pepsin is the active form. Who releases it? Chiefs. Chiefs are peppy. Chiefs are peppy. And who stimulates the conversion or activation of pepsinogen to pepsin? Acid. Who releases acid? We said it was the parietal cells, right? Let's keep going. So we said pepsin, HCL, intrinsic factor. So proteases. Who releases pepsin? This is the review overall. And parietal cells release HCL, which activates pepsinogen to pepsin, and in releases intrinsic factor, which helps to absorb B12 for production of red blood cells. What other cells were there? M cells release mucus to protect, and G cells release gastrin to gas it up, right, to increase the production of HCL. What else do we have on our list? So we've got all of these. We've got mucus, we've got gastrin, and I have secretin, CCK, GIP, VIP, enterokinase, trypsin, oh, chymotrypsin, amylase, lipase, colipase. Oh my goodness, that sounds like a lot.